Okay, for today's lesson in Hammer Editor tutorials, I will be showing you guys how to make bunny hop platforms. The kind of platforms that you can double jump on, but you cannot stand still on. What I'm going to do real quick is create a really, really quick bunny hop course and then get started on the tutorial. Okay, so here we have our very basic bunny hop map. It is just a quick point A to point B with some height variations. So what you want to do first is create a new entity and make it a filter entity. My bad. Make it a what is it? Filter filter activator name. That's what you want. Is filter activator name. Filter mode allow entities that match criteria, give it a target name, something memorable such as name filter, I guess that'll work. And filter name, um, the filter name is going to be the, the name of the entity that passes through the filter. If the name of the entity that passes through this filter matches up with our input here, then it will allow entities. So the filter name here is going to be, let's call it, let's just call it active. Okay, and it'll appear red, but that's okay. Just, it'll still work. Just ignore the red text there. Okay, so now what we wanna do is create our triggers that will be utilizing this filter entity. So let's just select one of these blocks and shift drag and just duplicate it up like that, then adjust the height so it's resting on top of this block. Give it the trigger texture. And make it two units tall. Now press Ctrl T on this trigger to make it an entity. And let's make this one a trigger underscore teleport. Apply. Make sure your clients is checked in the flags tab. Remote destination will be your checkpoint destination where you where you want the player to be teleported after he messes up and the filter name. We need to add a filter name and this filter name is going to be the name of that filter entity that we created earlier, which is name filter. OK, so now that's all we need to do for our trigger teleport. Highlight your trigger teleport shift drag to duplicate it. Then go to the Entity Options menu and make this one a Trigger Multiple. Okay, for this Trigger Multiple, we do not need to run it through a filter, so remove that. And set the delay before reset to 0. Point something really small like that, like 0. 0.0001. Then go to Flags, make sure Clients is checked and enabled. Okay, now you want to go to your Outputs add an output and your output named will be on and touch no no we want to use on trigger okay so on trigger whoops on trigger targets entities named will be activator and activator is basically targeting the player that triggers this trigger i guess it targets the player via through this input and make this one add output so we are going to add output to the player and we're going to set that player's target name to active after a delay in seconds of 0 0.20 0 0.20 rough numbers like that should work just fine okay do not don't don't close out of that menu that was an accident if you did close out of it just go back to your outputs tab on your trigger multiple <laughs> excuse me and select this output that we just created and copy paste it then select it again select the copy pasted one and set it to after a delay in seconds of roughly 0 0.03 higher than the previous number so in our case it should be 0 0.23 and with a parameter override of target name default there we go and that's all we need to set up for our that's all we need to set up for our outputs on our trigger multiple. Okay, so now that we have our triggers set up, 
take your trigger multiple and stack it directly on top of your trigger teleport so it looks just like this your trigger teleport is sitting right on top of your your bunny hop block and your trigger multiple is sitting right on top of your trigger teleport so it looks just like that okay and that should do it that'll work for this single b hop block now what we want to do now is make these triggers work for the rest of our blocks now there's two ways you can do this you can select these two triggers that you have set up here and duplicate them and place them on top of all of your blocks just like this kind of like that or say for instance here we have all of these blocks are the exact same height so all we have to do now is just take these two triggers and stretch them like this so it covers the top of all of these blocks that are equal height let me adjust this real quick Yep. Yeah, okay, there we go. So now these two triggers are covering the top of all of these blocks. So we don't need to create separate triggers for each block. But now, if you stretch these two triggers across the blocks with varying heights, it's not going to work out. So what you need to do now is go back to the first method and take your first or take take your two triggers, resize them to be the same shape as the same size as your blocks, same shape and size as your blocks, which is 64 by 64, I believe. Why am I not? There we go. 64 by 64. And position it in the exact same position as the block. And just move it directly on top, just like that. Now do this for the rest of your blocks with varying heights. And that is all you need to do. You have these triggers right here covering all the blocks that are the exact same height. And then you have the exact same triggers set up on each separate block with a different height, just like this. Okay, so now I am in game with my bunny hop platforms. And the way this should work is if I jump on one of these blocks up here and I stop moving, it should teleport me back to my checkpoint destination. So let's try that out. Jump, stop moving, and yep, there we go. It teleported me back to the destination. Now, if I jump on one of these blocks and I continue jumping, I shouldn't be teleported, just like that. But if I stop jumping, it'll teleport me. And that's basically it for the bunny hop platform teleport, multiplayer bunny hop blocks, whatever they call them. That's basically it. If you guys can't get this to work or if you have any questions or issues, post a comment or send me a message or whatever, and I will be happy to help. Thanks for watching. Till next time.